call the Flying Kipper. Henry was ready at five o'clock. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and shouted, loading the vans with crates of fish. The last door banged, the guard showed his green lamp. The Flying Kipper was ready to go. Come on, come on, don't be silly, don't be silly, puffed Henry to the van. Van shuddered and groaned, trick, 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 trick. All right, all right. That is better, that is better, puffed Henry. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Hurry, 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 panted Henry. They were going well. The light grew better. Signal light shone green as they passed. Then a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop. But the home signal was down. All clear, Henry. Away we go. They couldn't know the points from the main line to a siding were frozen, and the home signal should have been set at danger, but snow had forced it down. A good strain was waiting in the siding to let the flying kipper pass, and the driver and fireman were drinking cocoa in the brake van. The kipper is due, said the guard. Who cares, said the fireman. This is good cocoa. The driver got up. Come on, fireman, back to our engine. They got out just in time. Henry's driver and fireman had jumped clear before the crash. But Henry lay dazed and surprised. The fat controller came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Cheer up, Henry, it wasn't your fault.